Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is kind of an interesting uh, video today. We're taking a look at some Queen Charge minor attacks. Um, not something that's terribly new, but I haven't shown it very much on the channel, and I think it at least deserves a video about it because uh, we're seeing it quite a bit and it's working out very well. So when we're looking at these queen charge minor attacks, I think one of the great things about them is that the queen walk, or specifically the queen charge where you enter the base with your queen, um, that's a good complement to miners because other things like maybe using bowlers or valks um, with your miners is that they're susceptible to kind of the same uh, types of defenses. They're both uh, hurt badly by giant bombs and I think for something like a queen charge, giant bombs don't really affect her that much. Um, she has a different set of strengths and weaknesses, which complements really well with the miners. So it makes for some great attacks uh, when used correctly. So we're going to take a look at a few of them, talk about kind of what uh, the keys to this strategy are. Uh, but anyway, in this one we're taking a look at Jackson. Um, you can see he has a few baby dragons for funneling, a pretty compact base, so you wouldn't expect to see a queen charge on this. But um, one of the great things about miners is that unlike Valks or something like that, they don't require as many spells. Three spells is pretty much all they need. So you can afford to bring two rages plus the ability, obviously, for your queen. So that's three opportunities to give her that boost in health. So uh, you can do a pretty significant amount of work with just your queen alone, uh, which saves troop space, which is very helpful because miners work best in big numbers. So anyway, uh, the CC lure right there, they actually kind of get stuck on his own baby dragon, so the queen doesn't really even take any damage from the CC troops, uh, so that works out really nicely. Uh, you can see the funnels created for her, so she'll start walking down south here. The Inferno can reach her pretty s soon, but drops down the king. You have a little bit of flexibility with how you use the king, because you're not really bringing any uh, formal kill squad, so the king is pretty much kind of on his own, uh, however you want to use him. You'll see him being used two different ways in this video. Uh, right here, he does a good job funneling uh, for the queen, and also gets in there, uh, takes out the defensive queen, tanks for some of those uh, defenses and gets the inferno as well without the queen even needing him now the queen can take out the inferno if you use her correctly um, with her ability especially but the only problem is if people put skeleton traps or stuff by the inferno it can delay her long enough that she won't get it down before her ability wears off so it always helps to have that king kind of uh, leading the way so even if she does get targeted it's just by the inferno no other defenses uh, which helps keep her alive but anyway just storms that other inferno with the miners and that's what you want to do get to that inferno as quickly as possible because if both infernos are down the base is really going to be in a bad situation especially if it doesn't have max point defense or even wizard towers at that which also do damage to miners especially if it doesn't have those factors for it because um, then the miners would just kind of roll through the base. You can see they went right through here. He had that extra rage left over. I think he was planning on needing that for the queen, but she did just fine without it, so dropped it on the miners. You can see how many he has left up. Um, so awesome attack to Jackson. We'll go ahead and go times two. Uh, crush this base, and uh, I think he did a great job of kind of using a very, very small kill squad, just the, he the healers, a few funneling troops, and the king. Uh, and the heroes obviously and getting in there getting the inferno the CC um, The defensive queen and a few extra bon uh, bonus defensive buildings So great value there. We'll take a look at one more to kind of illustrate the points of this attack strategy um, same thing with the baby dragons for the funnel and uh, Also that baby dragons gonna tank for that archer tower which helps um, Prevent him from having to use like a rage or something on this queen right here because uh, she's she uh, only takes damage from a few point defense at a time. Drops in the wall breakers to let the queen on into the base right here. The space is a lot more spread out, so uh, you can see it works against a variety of different types of bases. Uh, what you're looking for are those infernos that are kind of spread out so that one can be easily isolated from the other, meaning that you can send your miners at one and get that taken out, let them get healed back up, and have your queen hopefully get in there and take out the second one. So it doesn't appear to be a clear path to that inferno, but you'll see kind of how it works out uh, as the attack goes on. Uh, drops the poison for the CC troops. They'll go down. Um, only really one point defense on her right now, and not a whole lot of other point defense in the area. So even if the inferno does get on her for a few moments, it really doesn't even matter because uh, 
is as long as, she, as she's only taking a little bit of damage uh, she has the ability she can get out of range for a second a lot of different factors working drops those miners pretty much adjacent to the queen which is always a good thing to do let your troops tank for each other drop them on the same side of the base uh, if you can I've always said that uh, has the rage for the miners which gets them moving a little quicker gets the inferno taken out that much sooner uh, which helps them uh, keep moving through the base I liked how we use the king here the king basically just walks around the entire outside of the base or at least most of it and gets all of those trash buildings to keep the miners inside the base because that makes them move quite a bit quicker um, one thing that you don't realize is how the uh, slowly the miners move when they have to take out all the trash buildings on the outside and how they deviate from the inside of the base which is what's important but uh, beyond that, you can see the queen uh, kind of went through that wall and got to the next inferno tower. And if the point defense is that spread out, sometimes you can trust your queen to you know, go through a wall. And the miners helped funnel her into that inferno because they took out pretty much the entire bottom of the base. So the only path for her, uh, once the miners had moved through the first kind of section, was for her to go up north towards that next inferno tower. So it worked out great. Um, awesome attack to uh, Mr. Alec. Um, awesome stuff, or ALEC, whatever, um, getting the three star. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the attacks and hope you learned something for you Town Hall 10s out there because this strategy is uh, very powerful right now at Town Hall 10 and uh, as long as it remains that way, it's a good idea to take advantage of miners as much as you can and use this kind of queen charge uh, to help kind of uh, set up your attack and finish it off with the miners. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.